Hello, good evening. Thank you for joining me again. Well, as we get closer to Christmas, my thinking about the different people who appear in that first Christmas story continues. So tonight I'm going to tell you a story I wrote a few years ago called The Shepherd's Nativity. This is how I imagine one of those shepherds might have told the story years later, perhaps to one of his grandchildren. So you have to imagine me in the part of a shepherd for now. It happened a while ago now, but to me, it's as clear in my mind as if it were yesterday. It was a fine night, clear and cold, the sky full of bright shining stars. We were out on the hillside as usual, the sheep had been grazing during the day, but now that it was dark, they were all safely gathered into the sheepfold for the night. We just sat around our campfire as we always did, sometimes talking, sometimes simply being quiet together. Sometimes the sheep would bleat in the background as a mother and her lamb looked for one another, and we listened out for other sounds, in case there was a wolf or a bear lurking anywhere near wanting to take a sheep. It seemed like so many other nights. And then, all of a sudden, everything changed. A bright light appeared in the sky. At first, we were just scared and not quite sure what we were seeing. I guess all the others were thinking what I was thinking. That looks like an angel, but it can't be. Can it? But nobody was saying it out loud. We just sat there absolutely terrified. And then the angel, because it really was an angel, spoke. It said, don't be afraid. I'm bringing you good news. My heart was beating so fast with fear and excitement. What news could an angel possibly want to give to us, a bunch of shepherds? The angel went on. Tonight in Bethlehem, a baby has been born, the special one from God, the Messiah. You will find him wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. And as soon as the angel said that, the night became as bright as day. At first, we were half blinded and couldn't see what was going on. But then music started to come out of the light and we realised that there were lots of angels and they were singing glory to God and peace on earth. After they'd gone, we just sat there for a while. It's difficult to know what to say when something like that happens. But eventually someone said, that was a message from God, wasn't it? Let's go down to Bethlehem and see this baby. So off we went down the hill to the town. It took us a while to find the baby and his family. They weren't in any of the places you'd expect to find a new baby. But then we remembered that the angel had said we'd find him in a manger and you find mangers in stables and where animals are. Once we remembered that, we found him quick enough. I remember pausing at the door of the stable. It had a really special feel to it. You just knew as you walked in that this was no ordinary baby, no ordinary family. The baby's mum looked so young and so tired. She told us later they'd traveled a long way to get there and it had been a hard journey. She looked happy though. She had a kind of glow about her that some people get when they're full of deep, deep joy. In fact, that joy was in the whole stable. I know this sounds odd, but even the animals, the cow and the donkey had it too. We looked at the tiny new baby. Jesus, his name was. Us, a bunch of ordinary shepherds, and him? Well, the angel had said he was the Messiah. God's special one, the one our people had been waiting for for so long. Could it possibly be true? We looked at that tiny person and I felt the joy that was all around fill me too. And in that moment, I was on my knees by the manger. And then the baby, Jesus, opened his eyes. He looked straight at me as I knelt by his side and I felt surrounded by love and so peaceful. We stayed a while, my fellow shepherds and I, but eventually we began to make our way back to the sheep. By then the town was starting to wake up and we told everyone we met what had happened about the angels and the baby and everything. 
I hope some of them went to see him too. There was something in the stable that night that was too good to keep to ourselves. As ever, I'm going to finish with a prayer. And as ever, if you'd like to make it your prayer, feel free to stick an amen in the box under the post. Father God, thank you that you meet each of us in the way that is right for each of us. Amen. Thanks for joining me. See you again tomorrow, I hope. Bye for now.